Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait, 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 wait. Today the debaters will be debating hunting should be banned. Four is Rowan and Atticus and against is Marcus and Chris is absent. First is Atticus. First off, studies show that today people kill animals for the thrill out of it, not of, ne not of necessity. This form of entertainment rips families apart and leaves countless of animals orphaned or badly injured for the rest of their lives if they weren't killed. You might have heard of Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection, which explains that the sickest and weakest animals will be killed by natural predators, leaving the strongest animals to pass their genes on. Hunting disrupts this process because hunters tend to kill the strongest animals so, that, so we have no more animals left to pass the genes on for the future. Um, don't shake the day. Future. Oh, wow. Um, no. Is that a goose? Add a goose. Uh, now it's Marcus. Yeah, I read it. Mine. Shh. Let me be quiet. No. I think that hunting should not be banned. What is the difference between hunting an animal and eating an animal from a farm? Okay, first of all, hunting is way better than farming because, first of all, p hunters kill way less animals than farms do each day. And the animals actually have a small chance of getting away from the hunter. So, and, and also, hunting is way more eco-friendly because did you know that um, agriculture causes, or, uh, Animal agriculture causes 15% more greenhouse gases than all transportation vehicles combined. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Necessity. This form of entertainment rips families apart and leaves countless of animals orphaned or badly injured after after uh, for the rest of their lives if if they didn't get killed. You might have heard of Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection, which explains that the sickest and weakest animals will get killed by natural natural predators. Um, oh, natural predators, leaving the strongest animals to pass their genes on. Hunting disrupts this process by them killing the strongest animals so it's for no more to pass on for the future. You, some people think hunting is a sport, but that is just crazy. This might be a sport to you, but a life to countless of living creatures. This uh, hunting is unnecessary, barbaric, vicious, and no, it, no right to exist. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well hey. Marcus Dang. gets to do his now. <laughs> <laughs> How would you feel if every minute of every hour of every day you lived in the constant fear that your life could end in a heartbeat and nobody would do anything about it or anything anything to the person that just killed you? And why? Because they have a hunting license. A human gave another human the permit to kill another living thing, which by the way does feel pain. My question is, 
Really, what's the difference between killing animals and humans? We both have brains, families, and feelings, so what's the difference? If we continue hunt to have hunting legal, maybe we should just legalize killing humans, because honestly, I don't see a difference. Woo, woo, woo! Yeah, Rowan! <laughs> <laughs> oh, questions. Um, Jada. Okay. Um, if you guys were to take an estimation, how many people do you think are injured because of hunting, like shot by accident, like whoops? <laughs> Uh, I know that there's, I actually saw that while doing research, I didn't add it in my debate, but uh, there's a fair amount of people because there are like groups that go hunting together and there's like hunting forests where like you can go and there are multiple people and you can shoot at an animal, but the animal Maybe ducks and it years. hits somebody else. Yeah. It's not two years, probably more than that. Do you know how many people there are in the district? <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, Robin, thank you. Um, uh, of course, Rowan and Atticus. Um, um, what was I going to say? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, would you want it to be banned all around the world or just in Canada? All around the world. I don't know what the studies are called, but you can imagine that when you go hunting and you kill, like... You're imagining that fact? You never named it fact, but you said study shows I've Most looked. If, I looked if on one of the website, which I think was pretty um, <laughs> trustworthy and solid, and it says so studies show that today, animals, I mean hunters, kill animals for the thrill of it, out of necessity. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, Zoe. Marcus, I know a couple of people who go hunting for the fun of it. Do you think that's fair to kill something that is living just for fun? Well, most like hunters actually use parts of the, the yeah. animals so that they can like survive off of it for the year but, we, but like it's yeah most of my most of my like most of my like my like family actually have hunters and they almost always like bring back like a moose or like a deer or something so that they could like have something to eat for like the year okay. why would you do that when you um Phoebe. oh marcus what do you like to do for fun like after school do you just play like basketball Right? Like, yeah. something like that. Yeah, so, like, basketball, when someone, let's say, like, elbows someone in the nose, they can break their nose, but that's not fun. And then, like, something like hunting, just, like, killing, like, an animal for fun, like, well, yeah. If well, you like, think, like, like breaking someone's nose or something is bad, like, can you imagine, like, just for fun, like, after school, just going out and, like, killing a bunch of, like, wild animals? Yeah, I know, but, like, it's the same with, like, farming animals. They also kill, like, the live... Yeah, not all farms. That's not what we're talking about. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's, yeah. True. it's well, not really the point. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Okay, we're talking about hunting. Okay, cool. Shh, guys, be quiet. Um, you said that, like, if we're hunting and killing animals, you don't see the I think that over time, animals have, it's been like humans and then animals, but I think it used to be animals and then humans, but we took it over. We were like, we are stronger, boo. Like, <laughs> um, so I think that what the point I was trying to make was that they feel pain and it's like they have, they have families and they experience things and remember things, and I think we're very, very similar to them. And humans are animals, so. Thank you. We just call um, each other. Peter, uh, <laughs> Rowan and Atticus, do you think that hunting should be banned for people that need hunting for food to survive? For example, in Canada, uh, up north, uh, some people, they need to hunt like moose or like something to, uh, Eat, have to survive sometimes for the winter. Do you think that should be banned? I don't know. It, it depends if there are other food sources there. 
Can if I, there are like, if there are stores where you can purchase things. I think oh, yeah, yeah, it all depends on that. <laughs> I think if you, you, you're using all of the parts of the animals and stuff, that's no different from just eating meat. But if you're just killing it through the out of it, that's not Okay, thank you. Um, Zoe. Marcus. So, um, okay, let's just say you you said some families need this. Yeah. And but okay, this is kinda of disgusting, but I need human meat. So I kill a human and eat it. Is that do you think that's still fair? Um, no. I don't think that's fair. So just because it's a human it's not fair. Well hey. I don't believe that cannibalism is right. Cannibalism is cannibalism. And also like some of these families actually don't have enough money to buy the meat in the stores, so it's fine. So they have enough money to buy a gun? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Um, two more questions. Jensen. Guys, be quiet. That's not, you don't have proof of that. What? Be quiet, Jordan. Um, well, like we said, a lot of when slaughterhouses, wait, slaughterhouses is, is like what we get food from, right? It's for mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and then, okay, okay, um, well that is something because we need protein, and yes, we can have substitutes, but a lot of the time our main source of protein is from meat. And I think I think the difference is just like Adam has said, there are a lot of people who just shoot the animals and leave them there to die. So I think that there's a very big difference because there's they're using. Yes, some of the times they will kill the animal and then use it for other uses. But I think that in a slaughterhouse, it's going to something a lot better rather than having like I don't know how to do this. Rather than just killing an animal and leaving it there because a lot of people do that. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, two more. Isabel. It's going on for too long. But how can they have Well, like, maybe they already have a gun from, Pat, like, family, and, like, it's a lot cheaper to, like, just buy a gun and then get, like, a hunting license for annually and then hunt for animals. Because, like, if you think about it, like, a whole animal would be worth, like, like a hundred dollars or more in a store rather than like very cheaper if you go hunting. You also well, you know and like an yeah, oven to cook it and bullets. stove. Yeah, you need yeah, you need a lot of other materials just than a gun. And then <laughs> and you can't really so you got, got guys they're debating you're gonna do this. Yeah. Okay. See? See?